those arms up into that nice Y. You're going to squat as low as you can go, marking it. Your goal is to push your knees out as far as you can. It's okay if you raise your heels slightly. You could even place a block or something like a plate, anything about an inch shorter under your heels. Notice that it all starts at the feet. So the moment maybe your feet caves in or you start to roll at your foot favoring either the inside or the outside, your knee, hip, and rest of your core is going to follow. So notice those things as they go and try to start creating a very solid base. So what I want you to be thinking about in this exercise is mostly your feet. Think that you have your outside of your foot and your big toe glued to the floor. Your heels are okay to raise in this and in, in fact you can elevate it if you wish. So while you're holding on to the ground there I want you to try to create some torque with your knees with your feet really externally rotating your hips that's going to help you open up in the squat now we don't want to overdo it and have you falling over onto your ankles but we do want you to be able to push your knees out and open up through to the hips as you go down and reach and notice my heels are coming up here and that's totally fine because it's actually helping and assisting my back from keeping that nice straight angle and from having it round forward. So if I had my heels on the ground, my back would round. Having heels up, back doesn't round. So once you get your positioning right, like your knees aren't caving out, your hips are good, your chest is open, your shoulders are even, then we can work on depth and then we can go lower, lower, lower until you're able to reach down here comfortably without knee, hip, or low back pain. Then we're going to move on to working on how long you can stay in this position. So you might start with just holding this position for say five seconds, build up to 10, 15, 20. Once we can hold this position comfortably for 30 to 60 seconds, we can bring in some arm movements. The arm movements in the deep squats, we're going to bring our arms up and then we're going to reach them behind, squeezing our shoulder blades, and then we're going to swoop them forward and down. So we're up, over, down, and you can notice that it's creating a bit more of a torque, a little bit more of a challenge where my knees have to try to stabilize and hold this position. So you might start with just three up and overs and then build to five and then build to ten any aches and pains come up during this exercise you can feel free to send me a video that's actually going to really help with some of the programming understanding what exercises and selections variations might actually work better for you and your body um, and what we need to work on right away to help you build that solid base going forward